When you receive your camera package, check to ensure the following items are included. The Avigilon H4SL bullet camera, a mounting template sticker, and a solid wall installation kit. Next, we will go through the steps to mount the H4SL bullet camera. If you're not running the cables from inside the mounting surface, install the junction box first. Start with the mounting template to drill four mounting holes into the mounting surface. Next, drill the cable entry hole into the mounting surface. Fasten the mounting bracket to the mounting surface or the junction box. Pull the Ethernet cable through the cable entry hole. Place the mounting hooks on the rear of the camera into the mounting hook slots on the mounting bracket. Then let the camera hang. Next, install the protective cable boot. However, you can skip this step if you are using the optional junction box. Remove the protective cable boot that is pre-installed over the Ethernet port. Then thread one end of the Ethernet cable through it. Then crimp the Ethernet cable. After you connect the cable to the camera, slide the boot over the Ethernet port. You can tuck any extra cable length into the cable entry hole. Raise the camera until it covers the mounting bracket. Use a T20 pin-in Torx driver to fasten the camera to the bracket. Then, remove the configuration panel with a T20 pin-in Torx driver. The configuration panel gives access to the micro SD card slot, the connection status and link LED, the reset button, and the micro USB port to access the camera's mobile web interface. This video provides a high-level demonstration of how to use the optional USB Wi-Fi adapter to access the camera's web interface. For more information on the USB Wi-Fi adapter, See the Avigilon Resource Center for training on this topic or consult the user guide. Note that the USB Wi-Fi adapter is only available in specific regions. After you connect to the mobile web interface, you can see the camera's live video stream to confirm that the camera is aimed in the right direction. You can also adjust the camera's zoom and focus and its network settings. If you need to configure more detailed image and display settings, use the camera's full web interface or the Avigilon Control Center client software. Or if you have installed multiple cameras, you can use the Avigilon configuration tool to configure common settings.